What's up guys, Jeff here from Livestream Trading. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Iron Beam trading platform. This is the platform that comes free when you're trading with Iron Beam brokerage. We're gonna go over a few tips and tricks with this platform, so stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So this is the brokerage and platform that I use for live futures trading. Uh, however, in this instance, Mike from Iron Beam was nice enough to hooked me up with a demo platform so I could sort of demonstrate the platform abilities without actually executing live trades in the market. So uh, without further ado, uh, what we've done here so far, guys, is simply just installed the platform and opened it fresh. The only thing I've done here before I started the video was I just simply rearranged some of these uh, windows to my preference. I like to have the advanced trader DOM stacked up next to the chart and then just the uh, fills, order book, and account details on the right side sort of out of the way so my main focus is generally in this area here where i'm kind of watching the charts uh watching the dom which shows the active bid and ask price on the current uh asset or contract that i'm looking at uh up top here you'll see a trading matrix this has a few uh popular instruments that you can look at trading right now we're just looking at a very popular simple one uh, mes which is the micro e-mini s p 500 index future uh, so we'll look at the platform first uh, there's one thing that you'll probably want to do right away when you open this platform and that's go to the application main menu click on settings and you'll want to enable the one-click trading so if you don't have the one-click trading enabled pretty self-explanatory. It's going to ask you to um, verify your order before you submit it to the market. Um, if you're day trading, you probably don't want to do that. So you want the order to go through right away. Right away. So if that's the case, just enable the one-click trading and hit save. Uh, also within the display settings, if you go back to settings, click on display, there's uh, some default theme and a light theme. I prefer the dark default theme. Uh, some just basic stuff like font size and Roboto. Um, obviously, I like to automatically reopen the last workspace, so it auto saves the workspace changes. And definitely like to hear a sound when an order is filled. That way, if you're kind of looking at something else, another screen, a little bit distracted, what if you left an order out in the market, anything like that, um, it's nice to have a little sound that you're familiar with so you know that an order has been filled. Uh, so we're going to take a look at, first of all, they've added a new feature to this platform. Uh, just recently, and that is chart trading. So prior to a couple of weeks ago, um, I would generally be trading off the DOM uh, in this advanced trader, which is where I would either use the market buy, market sell buttons to enter or exit trades or put limit bids uh, or even buy stops, for example, uh, in the market so I can enter and exit trades fairly easily that way. So the first thing we're going to do here is learn how to use the chart trading, which is fairly straightforward. There's a little button here that looks like three candlesticks. Go ahead and click that to enable the chart trading, and you'll see that it pulls up a few menu items. Uh, some are very straightforward, like obviously buy market to get long. And you can see that once I got my position long, it'll show the active P&L in the chart, and then sell market, obviously to exit it, or sell market, again, if I'm flat, to go short. So now I'd be short a contract. Uh, really simple stuff there. Now let's say that since I'm short, I want to buy back some of those contracts or flatten my position. I can simply left click anywhere on the chart and hit buy limit to put a buy limit order. And you can see that limit order is now sitting on the bid at 43.64.50. Let's say that, okay, the market's getting away from me a little bit here. I don't want to keep that order in the market. I can simply slide it up to a higher price if I want to. Now you can see that order has just filled. So if you are clicking below the bid, it's going to give you the option to buy a limit. So this is if I want to get long and buy below the bid price. And if I left click below the current bid, the other option is a sell stop, which would get me short, for example, if I don't have a position on. So this would sell and this left click and buy limit would buy. Now, if I want to uh, enter the market, let's say on the break of this 436819, I want to get long, I can just press left click. 4368.50, buy stop, and that will get me long. Let's say I just want to get long above the uh, current price. I can left click anywhere on the chart, put a buy stop in. Now this is an active order that will fill and get me long if it meets the market price. And I can just drag that around wherever I want it. So let's say we want to get long if it breaks up over 68.50. So I'll just slide it up to 69. 
If you look over on the right side at the advanced trader, you'll see my order is in there at 43.69. That's a buy stop for one contract. And you'll also see it down here in the order book. Now, the market is trending lower. I wouldn't necessarily want to go long right now, but just, just for demonstration purposes. So let's see if that order fills. And since I am long already one contract, let's go ahead and put a stop loss order in the market in case this trade goes bad on me. So I'm just going to right click anywhere on the chart and put a sell stop in. You'll notice that my uh, order, the buy stop order did fill. So now long two contracts and I'm up $15 in the trade. I want to sell one of those contracts, left click above the bid, sell stop. Now if it hits, uh, let's say I'm just going to move it up to 7025. So if we hit that 7025 level, it's going to reduce me down to one contract. And let's say I want to sell the rest at break even. Again, just left click anywhere in the chart, hit sell stop, drag it to the price that I want. In this case, break even. So you can see also if you look on the right side here in the advanced trade, you see my one order there to sell the remainder of my position at break even. But if the market moves a little bit higher, I want to sell it at 72. So I'm going to left click and put a sell limit at 72. So now I have orders in the market to stop out at break even or to take profit at 72.25. Looks like it's going to take my order at break even. Now you'll notice that these orders are still in the market. So make sure that you're always in the habit when you're out of a position of hitting exit and cancel or cancel all. Exit and cancel is when you're in a position, it'll close the position at the current market price using a market order and cancel all orders that are open in the market. The cancel all button keeps your position on, but cancels all the active orders in the market. So just to review, left click under the bid to put buy limit or left click under the bid to put a sell stop. You use this little arrow button on the position to move the order. You can see that just actually filled me short one contract. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but now we have a buy limit order already in the market. So let's say I want to exit that. I can just slide that up. In fact, it looks like the market's going to go higher here. So I'm going to slide it above the bid price and it exited me completely. If I want to get short above the ask, same thing, just left click, sell limit. Since I don't have a long on, this sell limit will get me short if it reaches this current price of 43.78. Let's say that I want to get short instead though at 43.82, simply slide it up, easy as pie. Really is a great platform guys, very simple and easy to use, excellent for the beginner. Uh, my recommendation is just always make sure that you make sure you cancel all orders in the market when you're uh, not doing anything with it. Um, I do like how you can quite easily left click and buy limit if I want to get in or again, now that this buy limit orders in the market, well, if I drag it up above the bid price, it'll fill me right away. You see my position is now active and this red line indicates where my position is from. So I'm long 43.75. Let's say I want to sell just above the ask, sell left click, sell limit. If I think, oh, maybe that's not going to get filled. I can drag it down a little closer to the bid price. And there you go, got filled. Uh, really, really simple stuff. Let's say I want to change the quantity and I want to trade contracts of about four at a time. Just remember that you have to do it over here on the chart if you want to be trading four contracts, for example, on the chart. Once again, I can stick out a buy limit there. Here's one, put a buy limit in the market. And let's say that I know that if that fills, I will want to stop out if it breaks 71.50. Well, left click again, sell stop. Now both orders are in the market. If I get filled at 74.54 contracts long, it will automatically sell them at 71.75 with that sell stop. Let's say I want to short uh, 82, left click, sell limit. And you can see now I have a short order for four contracts at 82. That order is filled. Let's say now I want to take some profits, but I don't want to take all four. Move the quantity to two. We'll take half at uh, 43.80.25 and we'll try for some more at 43.79. So we'll sit and let those orders uh, see if they get filled. In the meantime, if I obviously want to have a stop loss on this order, so I'm going to stop this trade out if it reaches 43.90. Once again, simply just left click. Since I'm short, it's going to be a buy stop. Remember, that's only for two contracts. My position is four, so I'll do it twice. And now I have all kinds of orders out in the market. I'm short, indicated by that red line at 83. I'm going to buy two contracts for profit at 80.25, or I can slide it up and take them now. That is filled. Now I have another order at 43.79.
So let's see if that one fills for more profit. And maybe now what I'll do is I'll move my stop loss order down to break even to make sure that I make some uh, money on this trade and cancel that other two contracts because I only have a two position short remaining. And for the demonstration purposes of just speeding this up, I'm just going to slide that two up closer to the bid, see if we can get a fill. Looks like it's going to take the break even stop. There we go. Now, remember, these orders are still in the market. So after you get out of a position, you'll still see some orders out there unless you use brackets. And what we'll do is we'll just make sure we exit and cancel all working orders. And now we are back to cash with no open orders in the market. Left click buy limit to buy below the bid, left click above the bid. If I want to put a buy stop order, meaning get, get long on the break of a certain level, in this case, 84.50 would get me long. Right click below the bid to put a, a sell stop order in. So this would get me short. If it breaks 79.50, it's a sell stop order. Um, and right click above, sorry, excuse me, left click above, sell limit if I want to get short above the ask. Really simple stuff, guys. Now, uh, let's talk about the advanced trader on the right side. Some people prefer to use the DOM instead of the chart. Sometimes people maybe use a little bit of both. So I just got filled short two contracts, as you can see by the red line there. It's at 84.50. I'm going to cancel all orders. I don't want any other orders in the market right now. And I'm just going to use the DOM to trade. Really easy with this too. Put a, a bid down. So I'm short uh, two contracts. So I'm going to want to switch to quantity two, or let's say one. Uh, so I'm going to put a bid out at 83. And this looks, looks like it's getting away from me. So I'm going to put a stop loss order in at 90 for two contracts. So right click. Right click gives you a buy stop. So I right click twice to get the two orders in the market there uh, to stop me out of this trade if it goes out of my favor. Let's give the market a minute and see what happens here. Another uh, spot, uh, interesting button that you might want to check out is reverse. I don't use this one a whole lot. I think that can lead to overtrading if you're constantly reversing your position, but there is the occasional time where a buy signal for me turns into a sell signal. So I suppose there is uh, a time and a place for the reverse button, but it's not very often. Once again, if I want to exit the position immediately, I don't like the way things are going and I want to cancel all the orders surrounding it, that exit and cancel button comes in really handy. It's a good little panic button. Just get out, get the orders out of the market, get clean out of the market there. Uh, cancel all again. We'll uh, remove all of my orders from the market. Let's say I want to short a few more, uh, which I don't technically, but let's just say I do. Right click above the ask to put, excuse me, guys, left click above the ask to put a sell order in. And if that tags me, it'll get me short one more contract on my stop for the two. The buy stop for the two is up there at 43.90. Let's say I want to short some more if it goes lower on the way down. It's a right click to put sell orders under the bid. It's a left click to put buy orders under the bid. So now if it hits 86.25, it'll short one more. And now let's just left click at 85 and see if we can get filled on the bid for a uh, two tick profit. I now currently have two, uh, two shares, excuse me, contract short. That one filled, so I'm down to one contract. Let's go ahead and cancel this buy stop and let's put a buy stop at break even now. Right click at the break even price or just above it, slide it down. Remember, you can slide these orders around really easily. And so now that I'm short, if I want to take profit, let's say at 83.50, just simply click on 83.50, left click. It's now got a buy limit order out there. Let's say I change my mind and I want to get it a little lower, slide it down. Let's say I change my mind and I want to exit the position right now, slide it up above the ask. Now I'm back to cash. We still have an open order in the market, so we're just going to exit cancel. This is the best button to remember to use all the time. That way, if I leave the computer or if I'm not paying attention, um, I'll make sure that I have zero orders in the market and nothing that can get filled while I'm not around. So I think that is mostly it, guys. A very simple, easy to use platform for the, you know, for the basic trader, uh, the sell market to get short is, is an easy one to use. Buy market to exit the short. Buy market to get long. Sell market to exit. Uh, again, anywhere below the bid that you click will get you, if you left click, it'll get you a limit order to buy. If you right click below the bid, it'll put in a sell stop order, which would get you short if you don't have a position. 
uh, left clicking above the bid puts a short order in right clicking above the bid puts a buy stop order in so for example with a buy stop if it hits 85 that's going to get me long one contract don't forget you can easily adjust the quantities up here and you have to do them separately so if you're chart trading make sure you have the correct quantity that you want on the chart side and I think the last thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, just some basic strategy. So you can do different strategies with this platform if you want to use maybe bracket orders, for example, which when you get filled long, it'll automatically put a sell order and a stop order in the market. Fairly simple to do that. Just click enable strategy and then select the strategy. So we'll click new strategy. We're simply going to slip down to bracket order. And all we need to do here is adjust the take profit and stop loss offset. I like to just put it maybe around five points and then adjust it manually from there. So you can just go ahead and put about five points there and then just hit save strategy. And you can add obviously uh, a name for the strategy. We'll just call it brackets. And we're going to save that. And then we're going to click on the bracket order strategy and use strategy. So what's going to happen here now is if i go ahead and let's just say i use a, uh, a let's go use the chart and hit a buy limit now you'll notice that the buy limit although it's not filled it's sitting in the market at 79.25 and if that gets filled it's got some ghost orders here that are going to go active as soon as the order is filled so i have right now a sell order to take profit at 84.75 that will go live if this order gets filled and I have a stop order at 74. Uh, since I use an arbitrary five point stop, um, I can sort of now while I'm waiting to get filled, adjust where I would actually want the stop to be, uh, adjust where I would want the profit uh, target to be if I got long, so on and so forth. Uh, just to show you how this um, behaves, I'm gonna do another one, but we're gonna do a short. So we're gonna go with the sell stop just below the bid. If that fills, it'll have a buy stop to get me out of the short up here, five points and five points of a profit below. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide up just to demonstrate here, see if I can get a fill and then uh, and then an exit. I'm gonna move the stop loss. All right, so that just filled me. Now you can see those orders have gone live. They changed from uh, yellow to blue. And I have uh, one order there at 79.50. Now notice how that one, it got filled for profit and it canceled the other orders in the market. So this is a good one to use if you prefer to, you know, do it this way. You don't have to manually put your stops uh, and uh, profits in. Just remember, if you even if you use, like, for example, a sell market. It'll automatically put that uh, stop loss and uh, profit order in the market for you. And then you can just simply adjust them to your preference. Really simple, really clever platform. Be interested to hear in the comments from you guys whether you prefer to use the DOM or whether you prefer to use the uh, chart trading. I personally use a little bit of both. Um, for the first, you know, few months of using this platform, I was uh, pretty much using the ch the DOM exclusively. I do use the chart now for easily picking out the levels that I want to enter or exit at. Or, for example, like if there was a breakout level that I know I want to buy at, I would just click there and use a use a buy stop for example. Um, and uh, yeah, if you choose that you don't want to have those brackets active anymore, let's go ahead and just cancel all orders. Uh, just simply click back into that brackets thing. You can just disable the strategy. In the next video, guys, I'm going to show you about the mobile app, which I think is actually one of the best mobile apps I think I've ever used for futures trading. It's very, very fast, really clever platform for mobile. I absolutely love it. So make sure that you like and subscribe to get more videos like this. Uh, thank you, Mike, for giving me access to this demo platform for the demonstration. And you can go ahead and click for a 30-day demo of this platform in the description below. Thank you for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you soon.